Hey everybody, you're in for a treat in this video, hopefully, if you're into this kind of stuff. But I have one of the new Wise brand wireless uh, Wi-Fi light bulbs. Uh, these are made by the same company that make those uh, affordable and very nice cameras. I'm a big fan of those. I have them all over. And I was able to order these ahead of time before they were released. And uh, I received my four pack the other day. I set them up using the Wise app. Uh, they went right in. They're really easy to set up and they will do a warm white to cool white change in the same bulb, kind of like my uh, video light here. They can go from about, I forget what the frequency is, but probably about the same 3200 up to around 5000 Kelvin. I'll put a link to the specs at the bottom, but if they get these back in again, I would definitely recommend checking them out. But for this video, we're going to take one apart. They look a lot like just like a normal you know, LED bulb. They don't look like anything special. They do have the WISE logo, and there's some specs on the back, 800 lumen, you know, like 9.5 watts. So, Oh, here we are. Yeah, 2700 to 4500 Kelvin. So yeah, it's very similar to my video light here. And they uh, they seem like they even come apart very similar to the other LED bulbs. It feels like the top should pop off. So I'm going to see if I can do this without launching it across the room. There we go. Yeah, that actually is pretty nice. There's a... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they really used any glue. It just pops in. Did I do that? No. That's just the way it's installed. It's got the little thing here so that it'll snap, snap. Or is there a key that fits in? I'm wondering if there's a notch. Let's see. No, it just pops back in because I can turn it. All right, pop that back off. And next, let's look at what we have in here. And there's a handful of LEDs. Or B3C doesn't really tell me anything. Oh, there's a manufacturing date, 2018, 0818. So August 18th, 2018. Let's see, three different or two different. Now, two different types of LEDs, and they must adjust the intensity between the two of them. So let's see, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twenty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, twenty-four. So there's twenty-four LEDs. And it looks like they use a uh, common negative. You can see there's a there's some of that goo on top protecting the wires. Let's look at this. Well, you know, this is a little surprising. This wire is kind of crusty looking. See how the... Let me get this other stuff off. You see how the insulation has pulled back really far? It's kind of, you know, I mean, it's not terrible. They got it covered up with all this goo so it's you know it's safe and nobody should have their fingers in there of course but i'm just surprised i mean i'm, I'm pretty sure wise didn't build these themselves i'm sure they had an oem build them no reason for them to tool up when you can hire somebody that already knows what they're doing i mean because it's nice that that's just a little mm. so anyway let's uh let me spin it around. Let's pop these wires off and then we'll take the LED board out. Come on. It's getting a little 
too hot for me to keep my hand on. There we go. One. Two. And we'll clean these up before I put them back on. Or I guess I'll clean them up and you'll watch. Alright. So those are up. Now, there it is. Let's use this one. We'll clean the board up, too. Oh, that was some big thunder nearby. And now I can pop the LED board up. There's no screws that I'm missing. Nope. Just some goo, some adhesive around the side. Yeah. And there's some white heat sink paste, and that's the LED array. Put that over here, heat sink paste up. Now, looking at this, this kind of reminds me of the uh, GE. I think GE had a smart bulb. Actually reminds me a lot of that GE smart bulb. I had one. I'm trying to remember where it is. And I remember it having a plate kind of like this. It would be really funny if that's all these are, rebranded GE smart bulbs. Uh, I doubt it. I'm sure there's some, you know, something else going on, but it would be kind of funny. Let's see if we can pop this up. This should just push in. Yeah. There's some... Oh, wow. And the power supply and chip are all potted in. But, let's see if you guys can see that. Lights all the way up. Yep. On the top of that can... Espressive. And underneath it, ESP V Room O2D. Make sure I'm reading that right. Problem is, the light hits it right, and then I can't see it. Yeah, ESP W R O O M dash zero two D. I really want to know if there's a different power supply in here. I'm going to kind of probe. You know what else we're gonna do? I really don't want to destroy this. I'm gonna do my best not to destroy this. But I would like to just see more of the of how what is in what's inside here. So we'll just be careful. We'll pop that plug out. Now the one wire is loose. There's no easy way to get these off though without chewing them up. So we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna probe this potting compound. It'll help break it up, and it'll help me feel if there's any separate power supplies under there. Like, I suspect there's got to be something for the power supply for the ESP board. All right, so that's getting loose. Got a little bigger screwdriver. I could put a knife in here, but one, I don't want to slip and cut myself somehow. And also, I don't want to cut anything on the board, so I think if I just keep doing this, I'll be able to get it out. I think there's an inductor down there. It's either an inductor or a big diode.
Remember, everybody, smash that like button. You're so silly. And tomorrow, I'm going to do 24 hours in the life of Frank. So oh, I hope that was a good yeah, that's alright. I'm trying to dig into the transformer. Alright everybody, we got it or I got it pretty well dug out, I think. I think that's about where I'm gonna stop. There's the top of the chip. And let's see that board has a manufacturing date of April. 2018. Here's our output. You can see it's coming out of the board down there. There's the power supply. I don't think I'm going to try and get it out any further because I don't want to take that off. So we're going to stop with it there. Uh, this is using that ESP based thing though. So, it's kind of cool to see. Those are really everywhere. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see that. You can pause that if you want to read it. Oh, and look at this on the side. Ground. Log. WRE write enable, probably. RXTX 3.3. So that is probably. Oh, low ground. I'll bet you that's what log is low ground. That's for programming. They probably have a connector that touched to that that would pull the proper pins low and high to load the software. Other than that, there's no other interface on it. There's the antenna, of course part of the antenna right in there oh, right there it's the antenna so you can see the mess I made getting all that stuff out and that's fine I'll get rid of that but let's put it back together uh, I'm gonna clean up these wires a little like I said they're not terrible they're just you know if you're gonna strip them I don't know it's just weird that it's so chewed up looking, you know. Just clean it up a little. Have pride in your work, people. This one's not bad. Alright, let's tin these and then trim them. And like I said originally, there was no issues with safety or anything like that. I don't, you know, I wasn't worried. It's all protected and everything. I just don't like seeing the insulation that far back. You don't need it when the pads are that small. There we go. Trim that one. Trim that one. And that one's fine. All right. Next is the can lid. So the wires will slide through. And then it's going to drop down, Let's get it around the board so the board's sticking out. There we go, it's down. It's going to give it a little, just a little tap. A little tappy tap. Yeah, all right, I like that. Then the LED panel itself. I don't remember which color was which, but I think we can figure it out. I see some red right there, so I'm pretty sure that's where red was. And then uh, white and black, I think. They're marked, so one's going to say negative and one's going to say warm white. And then the other one's going to go there, really. Let's put the screws back in. See, it was white, red, black. 
Light red, black. All right, so let's go the opposite. We'll do black, red, and then white. Tuck the wires back into the hole. Come on, little wire. Go back. There you go. Get them all back where they go. There we go. And I'm not going to bother putting any new, uh, any new, you know, silicone goo on top of there. They're going to be protected under the cover as soon as I snap it back on. You get the idea. You've now seen the inside of a uh, WISE Wi-Fi light bulb. Uh, when they do have them available, I definitely like them so far. Uh, there have been a few reports of them turning on on their own, but I don't know. That could be a firmware thing. Again, could be a manufacturing thing. We saw the wires in there. Who knows? But aside from that, the function of them is nice. Uh, they were easy to set up, they look good, and they were, you know, plenty bright and pleasant to use. So, yeah, if uh, you can get them for a good price, I'd check them out. So if you have any questions about these or, you know, anything like that, put it in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.